me, Zarel, Minthara, whoever you are, leave. I shall carry out General Thorne's will alone. An open tomb. Empty. Place. I'm sure of it. Lady Shard's presence is near. He must have been disarmed. Trap. Be cautious. Step carefully. There's a trap. Ketherick Thorn leading Shah's forces. Quite the about face for a warrior of Saluna. Best avoid that trap. Wonder if the gods are watching me. That disc must be the way forward. Where will it bring us, though? A Sharan structure, going by the design. Here goes nothing. Shah's warriors must not be caught, must not be tricked. Only loss awaits the unworthy. That voice... Is that Lady Shah? Be wary. This place is trapped. But I can crack that open. Good here, I hope. smell a trap. <laughs> Don't waste a step. <clears throat> And should do it. With haste. You prowl my battleground. Why? Are you friend? Foe? Thieving scavenger? You 
find yourself in a dead, putrid skull, somehow hosting a tadpole amongst a squirm of maggots. Another presence lurks within, manipulating the corpse like a puppet. Ah, a friend. An uninvited friend. I do not request help. Did she now? Enter. I will see if I have any use for you. Stinking pile of ogre afterbath! The quakes herald the shadows. They found me. Peace as well. Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. General Thorn. Rubbish. Everything is at hand here. Zarel merely envies the General's faith in me. I am in the midst of a grand strategy. But you're here now, and I may be able to put those limbs to work. You know what's at stake here, I take it. It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. Him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes. General form to you. But yes. Recovering the relic is the crux of it. He commands, and I, his humble servant, fulfill that command. While you, an infinitely more humble servant, fulfill my command. I will put you to work as a scout. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. I do not need you or your help, but you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close. But the way is barred, and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded. Or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But perhaps better to play along for now. Fine. I will. 
assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. Flesh will remain here until called. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. Go. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. The gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. There are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials, then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. Yes. I've had some doubts in the past. Surely that's normal for such a momentous step. If I prove myself to Lady Shah, she'll bless me with power. Power we can use to take on the Absolute and rid ourselves of these parasites once and for all. Let's explore. Inscription's challenge remains the same. There's nothing more for us to do here. Not until we complete Lady Shah's trials. Hmm. Might not be the time.
Nothing of value comes easy. Overcome my trials. And win my the bowl contains an ancient rust colored blood stain. It forms a neat disc as if spilled calmly and willingly. This is one of Lady Shah's trials. Allow me. It's important. Watch the shadows. A true child of the night singer chooses the shadows. And I've seen you first. Unseen. Well, this looks familiar. That might be worth a look. Watch your back. Countless initiates walk these halls once, seeking to I follow in their path. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another of Lady Shah's trials that her initiates must face. This one would challenge their combat prowess. that we are our own worst enemy much of the time. Her embrace will elude us until we shed that which holds us back. This way.
Lilith had parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest. Another bowl bearing the stains of an ancient blood offering. Another trial to judge the metal of Lady Shah's initiates. This one would test their ability to navigate her sacred darkness. Better get to it. What can silence the night song? Don't mind if I do. What's next? I'll grab that. This has to be it. This has to be the spear.
sealed in her name. to find a way forward. So much blood. What the hell's has been... There's something out there. What's this? Fresh entertainment. But you're too... Sanctum is within reach now. What do we have here? Wait. Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. There's something more I need to do. Or the trials will have been in vain. There is a holy weapon hidden away. The Spear of Night. I have to claim it. Then use it to make a sacrifice in Lady Shah's inner sanctum. If I succeed, I'll become a dark justicia. There's a library in this place somewhere. That's where I need to look. Don't worry. This place has been empty for years. The sacrifice can't be a simple mortal. More likely it's a monster. And we're well versed in dealing with those, aren't we? We need to find that spear. the shot. Things should fit in here. Some things should fit in here. Light on my feet. 
feet. Must be where initiates undertook their final preparations. You see, you the end is near. Do not forget to make Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy. Shroud yourself in blackest. Trust your secrets to the night. Lady. This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. You feel her mind flare in anger. She sensed your intrusion. Can't I even pray without interference? With good reason, it seems. There's something I need to do once we enter the Dark Lady's domain. Any more meddling on your part will end badly. Remember what I said. Let me do what I need to. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Trepidation and awe ripple through you as you enter the water. Beyond lies Shah's domain. The shadow fell. Lady Shah, I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the Shadowfell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Simple. I followed you. It seems Shah still holds a grudge against General Thorne, and so sought to prevent me from entering in his name. Luckily, you were the perfect agent in helping me slip past her defenses. Now the Night Song is within reach. Your lack of ability, perhaps? You made for an adequate errand girl thus far, but let's not overstate your virtues. Raise one finger to me, and I'd sunder you like lightning would a rotten oak. Now, enough dullard questions. 
follow me. I feel lighter, unburdened, as if the softest push could send me drifting away. A little bit further. See my actions, Lady Shah. My Hear my father. words of faith. <clears throat> Blessed Night Singer, witness my adoration. As sure as night will fall. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps you're incapable of feeling at all. Balthazar. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be justicious blade directly to my heart. I invite you. Heap more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aelin. Sir. To see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorn, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherine. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorn. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. I stand with you, Shadowheart. Slay the Night Song and take your place as a Dark Justice here. Her home. What else? Aileen is so much more than you comprehend. She is an Asimar, bound to a soul cage of my creation and lending her immortal strength to General Thorn. Her power, his will, and my genius. An unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. Death only frightens those of limited vision. You should be terrified, godling. Let us make short work of this. These boots have seen everything. Open up.
Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal, let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadow Heart bristling. This is important to her. You may yet have the chance to dissuade her from doing her duty, but not without risk to your bond. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god! Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life. I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know in me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. It is true death at last. You are Shah's child after all. And I am. I am. It is done. You have proven yourself. You have answered my highest calling. My chosen. My warrior. My dark justicia. No more hiding. Let me show you. Let all see how you have served me, Shadowheart, and how you have been rewarded. Your pain is now your power. Wield it true. My church must be cleansed. You shall be my instrument in ridding it of the impure. Then you shall take up the mantle as its new leader. First, hunt down the traitor, Ketherick Thorn. He shunned my embrace. He let my armies be slaughtered. He used my domain to safeguard his wretched life. But now, without the night song, he's vulnerable. End him. In my name, Shadowheart. Let him see you in your splendor before you shut his eyes forever. Once he is vanquished, Baldur's Gate awaits. Your holy work will continue there where you first learned of my embrace. Take up my spear again and go forth. Let the cleansing begin. Finally! Through me, her will is an 
enacted. Her shadows strengthen and the darkness takes all. I am her chosen. Done, Shadow Hunt. My fates will guide me. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I've done it. I've actually done it. A dark justicia chosen by Lady Shah. It almost doesn't feel real. My days of seeking her approval are at an end. Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Night Singer's eternal darkness is restored. There is one other matter. As the chosen of Lady Shah, it is time to carry myself like one. I still carry certain vestiges of a novice. That will no longer do. If I am to lead in Lady Shah's name, I must look the part. Leave it to me. You'll see exactly what I mean soon enough. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you. Heap more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time? And you still fail to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Alien. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorne, he appreciates you, and he wants you close at hand. So, I am here to whisk you back to him. Ketherick. <laughs> I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thorn. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Alien.
for her little journey. most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. <laughs> and you, no more questions, no more interference. Get it over with? No, this is to be savored. Return to Moonrise Towers. I'm sure we'll find further use for you there. Now don't struggle, Aelin. Well, maybe struggle a little. A pleasure to have made your acquaintance, little warrior. We will meet again. I am eternal. I will be free one day. And I never forget a face. Until then. Finally showed yourself. I thought you might try and avoid me. I had a choice to make. In the heart of Lady Shah's domain. But you denied me that chance. Now my future is gone. Nothing but windblown ashes and wasted potential. I can no longer suffer your company. Be grateful I don't rid myself of it with a blade. There is no we. Not anymore! You would be wise to forget me. I can only hope I one day forget you. Balthazar has drawn his final rancid breath. Pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger, a spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude. Until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadow Heart bristling. This is important to her. You may yet have the chance to dissuade her from doing her duty, but not without risk to your bond, and Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. This is 
my mistress's will, my life's purpose. If I have to step over your corpse to fulfill what Lady Shah asks of me, so be it. Your choice. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I... Empowered to kill the child of a god! Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know in me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. I believe I just did that. Lady Shah will disown me. What will happen to me? Not what will happen. What will you do? Your past is not yet lost. Your future is not yet fixed. Lay a hand on me in friendship, not quite Sharon. And I will fight the battle that has been waiting for me this last century. Then, oh then, we will have much to discuss. the Moon Maiden Saluna, mother of the so-called Night Song. The Night Song is no more! given me a great gift, little warrior. Don't you find it oh so curious that you would spurn your dark lady? Perhaps you feel a stirring of the truth already. But that will come later. There is a battle yet to be fought. You have done what we feared was impossible. You have released me from a century of sorrow. Your power is great. So too must be your weapon. You must choose what you will wield. And the Moon Maiden will provide. Thus I have said. Thus will it be so. Are you ready? To kill Ketherick Thor. Shah won't stand for us to be here, not after what we did. That 
That's what frightens me. She must be angry. Yet, I don't feel it. Or hear it. There's only silence. Let's get out of here, please. Whatever's coming, I don't want to be in the heart of the Shadowfell when it finds me. The Night Song will be headed for Moonrise Towers. We'd better get there and see what she's unleashed against Ketherick Thorn. Powerful ally. Well chosen, Shadowheart. Perhaps I might have been dead. This... This is all like some sort of terrible dream. But it's real, isn't it? I stood before the night song. I heard Lady Shah's words. And I failed her. Worse than failed her, I defied her. Just because of what that Asimar said. I tried to leave. But Shah blocked me. Punished me for failing her. I thought I knew the limit of pain that the incurable wound could inflict, but... I had no idea. Felt like I was suffering the agony of a thousand people all at once. My blood was boiling, my hair was on fire. I thought I'd claw my own face off with the pain. But then she released me. Banished me, more like. She said I was an outcast. That all of her children would know me and revile me. Shadowheart looks distraught, abandoned by her goddess and all former allies. And as for her divine magic, admitting who empowers her now may break her spirit for good. Live with it, for a time at least. Anyone who bows to the Dark Lady could turn on me the moment they see me. I'm a target. Night Song promised she'd tell me something about myself. I need to speak with her as soon as I can. What she said to me back in the Shadowfell about the wolves, that's no coincidence. She took flight to hunt down Ketherick Thorn. All I can do is help hasten his demise, and hope that answers soon follow. Do you really need to ask? I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. The shadow fell. Night song. I can think of little else. I know. 
It's just... hard to look past this. I feel like a huge part of me is missing. And worse still, I feel I cut it out myself. The sooner I speak to Night Song, the sooner I'll know what the future holds for me. Assuming I have a future at all.